crisis. And look, the opioid crisis is a direct result of President Biden's open borders. The border crisis has led to many other crises, but especially when we see this infusion of drugs coming across our southern border. Border Patrol agents will tell you uh, it's a direct result of the open borders, but it's also made every community in America a border town now because the crisis at the border is affecting every community in America. Uh, there is not a district of all 435 House members that haven't been affected by deaths from opioids that are coming across the border. And when Elise talked about that important statistic, the devastating statistic that there are enough illegal drugs in our country now to kill every American seven times, these are real real numbers. These are real people that are dying in our communities. And President Biden needs to step up and secure our border. It's a national defense issue, but it's a life and death issue in communities all across America that he's allowing an open border uh, that, among other things, is allowing all of these illegal drugs to come into our country and kill our young people at alarming numbers. I do want to point out something important that happened last night, and that was the passage of the National Defense Authorization Act. Maybe one of those rare moments in these days where Congress came together, Republicans and Democrats, to make sure we're taking care of our men and women in uniform. The bill had important victories. Uh, I want to applaud Mike Rogers, our ranking member, uh, for helping secure some of those important wins, including a pay raise for our troops that's much needed, especially in these days of high inflation. Uh, it affects our men and women in uniform, and there was a pay raise for our troops uh, that was included in those in, in that bill, along with some other important victories. Uh, so, you know, it gets lost a lot of times when we're having these big battles over big issues that we were able to come together last night uh, for our men and women in uniform. I wish we were able to have some of those same kind of bipartisan efforts on some of the other crises that are facing our country. Unfortunately, Speaker Pelosi will not work with Republicans to address the inflation crisis that's causing the cost of goods for so many things as families are trying to shop for the holidays. If they can even find the gifts that they're looking for for their loved ones, they're paying dramatically more for it when they go to the grocery store. They're paying 20 percent or more for the food that they're buying. And we all know the problem with the gasoline and energy crisis where you're paying maybe 60 percent more for gasoline and many families can't even afford to fill up their tank because the price is so high. Uh, President Biden has created these crises uh, and it's affecting hardworking families all across the country. Congress needs to be dealing with these crises, and it's a shame that Speaker Pelosi won't bring any bills to the floor to address those many crises. In fact, they're going in the opposite direction by continuing to bring bills to spend trillions more dollars, uh, as we saw uh, with the bill last week, to continue raising taxes and spending more money uh, that is driving inflation.